Are robots taking our jobs? Not quite. This cafe will surprise you. Welcome to one of the most unique cafes in Japan. Let's go! Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, Hi. nice to meet you too. <laughs> my, my name is Kali. I'm finishing this robot from uh, Tokyo. My name is Vinny. Vinny, how are you? Your robot is bold yeah. as me. You're the same. same. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. The robot that you see is being remotely controlled by Carly. Known as Orihime robots, they're engineered to enable individuals with disabilities, such as ALS, to participate in society and work from any location in Japan, which allows them to overcome physical limitations. Vinny, yes, you can help me. Vinny, yes, Our operator's name is Saki-san, and it's time for us to order our meal. For the drinks, we went with cocoa and coffee. Pasta. Pasta. Which one? Which? What do we have? What are we the have choices? We have carbonara to tomato sauce. Which one is better? Saki-san, ichiban wa carbonara or tomato? Personally, I prefer tomato sauce. If she prefers tomato sauce. If she prefers tomato sauce, I will, I will go for tomato sauce as well. If you want alcohol, you can pay 200 yen extra and get drinks as well. When you order food in the Avatar Robot Cafe, your hostess sends the information to the staff using her computer. Then the staff will prepare your food and drinks and will send the big Orihime robot with your order. How do you operate the the one, the big one or this one? It seems that the Orihime robots are not exclusively owned by the Robot Avatar Cafe and can be purchased by individuals who can then customize them according to their preference. How long did it take you to complete this training? We'll come back to our lovely Saki-san in just a bit, as our food has just arrived. The experience of visiting the cafe is priced at $18.5 per person. Just do not forget to make a reservation in advance. Anything unexpected that ever happened at work? <laughs> As of now, the Robot Avatar Cafe is only found in Tokyo. Nevertheless, temporary pop-up cafes are established in various parts of Japan for a restricted two-week period. Visiting this cafe has been an incredible experience. It's pretty amazing to see the impact that the robot waiter program is having on people with disabilities. The way it's creating new opportunities and breaking down barriers in the workforce is definitely inspiring.